Hello, I'm Dr. Michael Schuler with Athens Orthopedic Clinic. Uh, we're going to talk about TFCC tears, uh, which basically stands for triangular fibrocartilage complex. Uh, say that fast five times. Um, so what that is, it's basically uh, pain on the ulnar aspect of the wrist or the small finger side of the wrist. Um, this typically uh, results in pain with twisting type motions, uh, weight bearing type motions, um, similar to a dart throwing type motion, so ulnar deviation uh, or twisting, supination, pronation type activities uh, can really uh, typically hurt the wrist uh, and cause pain in this area. So again, symptoms typically uh, are ulnar sided wrist pain, which is again pain uh, at the uh, small finger side of the wrist. Um, I typically explain it similar to a meniscus tear. You've probably heard of that with regards to the hunk of cartilage uh, that is a shock absorber in the knee. Uh, this is the equivalent of a meniscus tear, but in the wrist. Uh, again, it's a shock absorber between your ulna, which is this bone right here uh, that runs down the small finger side of the forearm, and one of your carpal bones named your lunate. Um, the tears can occur from an acute injury such as a fall. It can occur uh, from as, something as uh, minimal is someone twisting your wrist uh, or trying to grab a box or uh, an object uh, as it falls. Uh, it can also occur due to chronic uh, kind of wear and tear type injuries, uh, but typically uh, something uh, occurs uh, where that cartilage is torn and then every time you twist, every time you rotate your wrist, uh, those bones are pulling on that torn hunk of cartilage uh, and it results uh, in pain when the, uh, the cartilage is pulled. So uh, similar to meniscus tears in the knee, uh, the main way to diagnose this uh, type of injury is through an MRI. Uh, we do typically uh, get a uh, shot uh, that's placed right through uh, the top of the uh, wrist uh, that allows for dye to be placed into the wrist so that we can see this cartilage easier. Uh, in this case, this is an MRI of the wrist. The ulna or the small finger is on this side. The radius or the thumb is on this side. And you can see all of this white fluid, which is the dye that's been injected into the wrist. Uh, in this case, this is the TFCC. Uh, and you can see it should be attached right here. You can see all this white uh, contrast that's gone down into the DRUJ, which stands for the distal radial ulnar joint. And so again, in this case, uh, the white dye uh, has leaked down in between these bones, indicating there's a tear right here with the TFCC. Again, this is your ulna, and this is your lunate, which is uh, where the two, or the cartilage is a shock absorber between these two bones. So in a different image here with a different patient, as contrasted before, you can see here's this white dye. Again, there's no leakage here, but you can see there's a leak uh, over here on the side where the TFCC, which uh, is here, uh, attaches to the capsule here. So you can see there's a, uh, some contrast and leak uh, leaking over here. Uh, I describe this similar to a, a carpet in your house. If you have a carpet in the house and you have a non-stick um, mat underneath it, you can walk across the carpet with really out any bunching or um, uh, wrinkling of the carpet. Uh, if you don't have that uh, non-stick uh, mat, as soon as you step on the rug, uh, the rug will wrinkle. And so in this case, uh, the TFCC has lost its attachment over here to the capsule. And every time you move or wiggle, these two bones ultimately wrinkle this hunk of cartilage up, resulting in pain as well as potentially a tear uh, in this area as well. So this is a brochure that we've made for TFCC tears. Uh, the TFCC, like we talked about in these previous two uh, MRIs, again, a tear right here on the ulnar aspect off the capsule. And again, here you can see one leaking into the DREJ as well as the ulnar side right here. Uh, once we uh, decide to proceed with surgery, um, we again use a camera similar to uh, meniscus tear with the knee. Uh, this is once we get in here, this is that ulnar sided tear. You can see all the inflammation uh, that's associated with the tear uh, in this area. Uh, we basically go in, clean out this uh, inflammation, and then are able to put a stitch right here uh, that closes that gap down. Again, you can see this is after it's been uh, pulled tight. Uh, with a central tear, which is this, uh, you can see uh, there's this uh, tear right here, kind of looks like crab meat, uh, where there's little uh, arms of uh, cartilage that uh, are extending up. 
Uh, basically, uh, this is not repairable due to the fact that cartilage does not have a blood supply. And so basically we go in, smooth out any of those free edges uh, to allow for a nice smooth surface that doesn't uh, get caught as those bones rotate against each other. Uh, I like liken this to a pillow. Uh, a normal pillow um, is uh, basically a non-torn uh, hunk of cartilage uh, versus when you have a hole in it, but it's nice and smooth. It's similar to those donut pillows. It still acts as a shock absorber, though it has a hole in the middle of it. So if we're unable to get uh, you better with anti-inflammatories or splinting uh, with regards to the TFCC, we typically start to talk about surgical intervention. Uh, with surgery, it is a general anesthesia. It is a relaxation, meaning uh, we do uh, put a tube down your throat. Uh, the reason behind that is uh, we place your arm in a traction tower that really puts some, uh, some general traction on the wrist so that we're able to get our camera into the wrist joint without tearing up the joint. Uh, so it, again, it is general anesthesia, um, but uh, surgery typically takes somewhere between 20 to 25 minutes to do. It's not a long surgery. Um, once you wake up, uh, you'll have a splint that starts here, wraps around the elbow and back to here. Uh, the purpose uh, behind including the elbow is uh, we want to prevent that supination, pronation, or twisting of the wrist. The only way to prevent that is to include the elbow uh, with regards to immobilization. Uh, you'll hate the splint, you'll hate me. Uh, when we uh, take it off at two weeks to take the stitches out, you'll ask for it to be put back on. Uh, you'll get used to that stability. Uh, luckily, uh, we'll send you right over to the therapy folks across the hallway. Uh, they'll make a removable brace uh, and start working on some general range of motion. Uh, typically at about six weeks, uh, people are turned loose to start to do more uh, activities, strengthening type activities. Usually by about two to three months, most folks are back to um, doing normal activities and typically do very well from this. So one thing uh, with regards to TFCC tears, um, this is not something that typically you have a high rate of reoccurrence. It certainly can happen, uh, but it's not something that 20, 30% of folks require a repeat surgery uh, to redo the surgery. Um, one thing that can occur, uh, the stitch that's placed uh, right here, uh, there is a, ner a branch of your ulnar nerve that comes up this way that gives feeling to the back of the hand. Uh, sometimes that stitch can irritate that nerve um, and typically um, we uh, go in, take that stitch back out at a later time, usually around uh, three months uh, if it's bothering people. Uh, we have recently changed to a, a much stronger stitch that uh, typically um, doesn't uh, cause any tears or breaks um, that's limited this uh, need for a repeat surgery to remove the stitch, but uh, again, sometimes uh, it does occur. So after th uh, surgery, you will uh, see one of the therapy folks. Uh, they will make a splint for you at the two-week mark. Uh, generally, they work on range of motion activities uh, from post-op uh, week two to about four to six. Uh, at about six weeks post-operatively, they'll start working on strengthening. Um, and then uh, usually by, again, uh, somewhere between six uh, weeks and three months, people uh, really have made uh, significant progress. So that about wraps up uh, triangular fiber cartilage complex tears, also known as TFCC tears. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to let us know.